babies uh, it's your girl paris simone or whatever and i am back y'all i've been gone for a minute i know i know i know i know but i am back and i'm super excited to be back and i have a story time for y'all because y'all love some story times i'm gonna talk about the time my best friend wanted my man okay and i feel like if this person watched this video she'd be like no nah, no nah, you did and it was very clear and i should have seen right through it but like i thought you was my friend but it's cool a lot happened it was very shady and i hope me telling you this story will maybe make it clear for anyone in your life who you feel like might be trying to do the same thing to you so let's get into it okay y'all so this story takes place like i want to say three to four years ago i was in high school and i had just made a friend we're gonna call her sarah okay sarah was a friend of another friend that i had had i wasn't close to the other girl but i started hanging out with the both of them kinda and through that me and sarah became close at school but towards the end of the year um uh, my best friend who went to the school who was like the only person i hung out with she was a senior and at the end of the year seniors graduate before everybody else so she was out of school and i was still there so she was lonely you know what i mean i didn't have no friends it was just like embarrassing like i i was popular in school i was super super popular but i didn't hang out with a lot of people i hung out with one to two people you know what i mean so when she left i was like dang and then i seen sarah and like sarah didn't really have no friends either <laughs> and me and her had talked in the past and she seemed really cool so like me and her started hanging out so we would like hang out at lunch and stuff and we would just have like really cool conversations like she was super cool seemed really genuine and just like super chill you know um and so i would hang out with her and one of the topics of our conversations was how that we wanted a little white boyfriend <laughs> we would just talk about that like a lot like we would joke about it like where were i white man at like <laughs> over time like we got a lot closer we would hang out outside of school just talk on the phone like i'm pretty sure i don't know if we had sleepovers but like she would come over to my house and she met my mom and she was cool with my mom like cool with my family you know like we were really friends um but it was with a short amount of time and like we did get close but she started calling me her best friend a little too quick for me um i just noticed that whenever like i start being friendly to other females they certain ones will start to like call me their best friend really quick and tell everybody that i'm their best friend but then they're fake as hell towards the end of our friendship and i'm like this was weird you know so that's kind of been a red flag to me of when like i meet a female and like immediately we're best friends like no we're just friends you know what i mean i already have best friends <laughs> you know what i mean you're cool you're cool <laughs> not my best friend i might be your best friend <laughs> you're not mine <laughs> you know what i mean um but yeah so we had gotten close and eventually towards the end of the year i met this boy we're gonna call him ian i don't know why <laughs> we're gonna call him ian and he was a little white boy like a little cute white boy whatever and so i had got me my little white boy like and he was like popular whatever like school f boy like you know the whole like like in the movies where it's just like the f boy you get the f boy to fall for you whatever like basically like that right and so when me and him would hang out I would take her with me because we would usually hang out with like other people and so i didn't want to be by myself so i would take her with me to go hang out with him and we would go to like church and stuff like that and she would always come with me and like she like in the beginning like she was like oh he's cool like girl he's cute blah, blah, blah. like i'm like yeah right like oh my god like uh, like all that stuff right and she would come with me she was always down to come with me um and they had like a cool friendship too like they were cool it wasn't nothing too crazy to me you know it was just like oh, okay you're nice to her she's nice to you it was nothing too weird um and so the more we would hang out um a lot of the time sometimes we'd be like me and her and then him and one other friend or me her and him and they kind of started to form like this like love hate relationship of like we're cool but like they just talk mess to each other you know like joking those friends that you just talk mess to but like y'all are kind of cool you know um and so i didn't really like think nothing of it like it was whatever like in my head he was super obsessed with me so i was never worried about any other female 
especially my friend you know what i mean so like over time like she would just claim that like she couldn't stand him like it would be that type of thing and that was a red flag too because you know what it is when girls be like uh i can't stand him yes you can you can stand really strong with him and i see it in your face you know it was like that like uh he's so irritating i can't stand him get your boyfriend oh my god he's so crazy and my stuff would just be like hi like i really was i didn't get it you know what i mean and so like all three of us were like cool you know so later on she ended up making a group chat i don't know what it was for i really don't know why i don't know if like i don't know what the group chat was for but she made a group chat of me him and her and we would like text in it like it was cool i think we played like uno or something like that and maybe that's why we had the group chat whatever we didn't really use the group chat often you know it was there we used it maybe once or twice and that was it so maybe like a couple days after she made that group chat i go over to ian's house right and we're chilling we're laying down and he's like why is your friend texting me <laughs> texting the group chat i'm in it too she's texting us like you know you're silly you silly goosey i look at his phone she's only texting him so she got his number from the group chat and decided to go text him herself talking about hey what are you doing <laughs> what does it have to do with you what he's doing why do you care why do you care what he's doing? You can't stand him, right? Why do you care what he's doing? I'm sorry. I know some people, I know that some people who are in relationships, they're like, I don't mind if my friends text my boyfriend. Like, it's whatever, blah, 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 blah. No. Unless it's about me, you don't need to text my man. Unless you're trying to figure out, hey, what should I get Paris for this? Hey, have you talked to Paris? I'm trying to get a hold of her. If it's not about me, you don't need to text my man asking him what he's doing right now. Why do you care? What, why does it matter to you what he's doing? I see the text message and I'm like, that's weird. So I take a picture of me and him. Me and him were like chilling, laying down in his bed watching a movie. So I sent a picture of me and from his phone. And I was like, we chilling. Like, we're good. Like, what are you talking about? We're fine. And so I sent it to her and she was like, oh, hey, bye. Stop texting my man. Stop texting my man. And I don't remember if I said anything about it to her or what. I feel like I did. I don't know. But I just like, I don't know if we continued the conversation. I'm pretty sure I just stopped responding or she just stopped responding. And if she did just stop responding, that makes it even more weird. Because why you stop responding when it, you found out it was me? Like, chill out. Because you thought he wasn't going to tell you. Because first of all, he don't want you. Even if I wasn't there and it was just you and him, he was not going to want you. So let's chill out. You know what I mean? You're, you're reaching. You're reaching. You know? I thought it was weird, but I wasn't. Like I said, I really trusted him. Like, I really trusted this boy with my life, you know? So I wasn't, I wasn't tripping. And even if I didn't trust him, she wasn't the one that I would be worried about. You feel me? So I was just like, okay, whatever. Later on, like me and him and her, we went to church again another day and she came with us. And so um, after that, we went to the mall cause my, we went with my mom and my mom wanted to go look in like Bath and Body Works or whatever, or yeah, Bath and Body Works. So we're in Bath and Body Works. It's the three of us, Sarah, me and Ian. And we're all like joking around, whatever, looking at stuff, like doing what it do. My mom gets the stuff that she needs to get. And then she goes to the checkout line. I follow her to the checkout line. Um, Sarah and Ian were kind of like, like arguing a little bit, like play stuff. You know what I mean? Like not like really aggressive, but they was like, you know, doing what they do, just talking mess to each other. I was going with my mom. So I didn't see any of this happen he told me like later on we had went on like a beach trip and i was with him and we brought um sarah up and he was like i don't like her like she makes me uncomfortable and i was like what do you mean babe like she makes you uncomfortable like what do you mean and he was like she i feel like she likes me and i was like because this boy thought everybody in the whole world liked him like everybody liked him if you blinked 
towards him like you're in love with him like in his head the whole world revolves around him so i'm like shit i'm like <laughs> i'm like okay like you think everybody like you like okay and he's like no like really remember when we went to bath and body works after church and i'm like yeah like i remember he was like when you went to go with your mom in line she was going towards you and I was kind of in the way. I backed up out of the way and she got closer to me and rubbed against me to go to you in line. And he was like, I didn't say anything because I didn't want to, I didn't want to think like I was overthinking it. Like I didn't want to make anything weird, but it made me feel really uncomfortable. And now that I think about it, like, no, it was actually weird. Cause my thing is, there's a lot of space in this mall. There's a lot of space in Bath and Body Works. If he was in the way, you could have went the other way. You could have said, excuse me, you could have let him go, and then you go. What did you, and then he telling me he backed up away so that you had space to go, and you you still was rubbing up against him. <laughs> That's weird. That's really weird. <clears throat> so, um, so I was like, what the heck? Like, that's weird. Me and my mom were just kind of like, that's weird, but like, we still didn't think much of it. I don't know why, but it's just like this boy really thought everything was about him and he lied a lot. Like he told a lot of like stories that just didn't make sense. And I didn't think he was lying about this one, but I just felt like he might be overthinking it because he tended to do that. You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, yeah, that's weird. So after that, like I didn't bring her around as much because he, you're making him uncomfortable like if you, if i'm your friend but you make my man feel uncomfortable gor girl or guy like then i'm not gonna hang out with you while i'm with him i might still hang out with you talk to you outside of that but when i'm with him i'm not gonna you know bring you into it because it makes him feel uncomfortable you know and then like i kind of noticed like me and her would still talk we just wouldn't hang out as much because i was pretty much always with him um and she whenever we would talk like she just got more and more negative towards like him like she just always had something to say like and it didn't really bug me because it wasn't like aggressive like she wasn't like it would just be little slick stuff you know and she would kind of joke it but i really like now that i look back like she was hating like she was really hating me and her like we were so cool and then i'm pretty sure like we would hang out every now and then and then later on in my relationship, like me and him ended up breaking up. So when me and him broke up, she didn't reach out to me at all. Me and her did not talk. Like we were broken up for like a week, I want to say. She did not reach out to me. She did not ask me if I was okay. She did not try to like come over, hang out, nothing. Like she did not talk to me at all. I was not a problem, an issue, a thought that occurred in her head at all. And honestly, like I was already going through like that breakup and it was a lot for me. And luckily I had other friends that were very, very like active in my life, like making sure I was okay and talking to me all the time and really getting me through it. So I wasn't really like <clears throat> thinking about her as much. A week later, he calls me, me and him make up, and we're talking about like, oh, who's the people that tried to get at you or hit you up when we broke up? And he's like, oh, Sarah texted me and asked me how I was doing and if I was okay. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy because Sarah said it come out, come out me. She didn't text me. But she can't stand you, right? She can't stand you, right? She was talking all this mess about you and about me and you being together. But she was quick to text you and make sure that you were okay. Why does she... If I'm your best friend, if I'm your best friend, and me and my ex break up, it's me and you against my ex. It's you and me against my ex. Not, not you checking up on both of us. This is not all three of... No. You're on my side. You're checking up on me. You're asking if I'm okay. You're unfollowing him. If anything, you're telling him about himself. Like, what are you talking about? Is he okay? Who cares? Who cares if he's okay? I hope he's not. He shouldn't be. He should be dying inside, okay? <laughs> like, why do you care if he's okay? So that was like, wow, for me, you know? But I still didn't think about it. Me and her, at this point, we hadn't hung out. We didn't really talk anymore. Um, 
But before me and him had broke up, I guess he started planning stuff for my birthday. This was during COVID. And so, um, <clears throat> I don't even want to necessarily say that he planned it. But my friends ended up planning it, but he kind of started it. And basically, um, he was trying to plan like a drive through like birthday for me. And so um, there was like a group chat of that. And all my friends were in it. My friends pretty much took over and they like, you know, planned it really. Um, my mom was involved and planned it as well. And so when me and him broke up, um, he thought like, oh, he obviously wasn't going to be involved in it anymore. You know, like you didn't really plan it. And on my birthday, I had ended up telling her that it was the day before my birthday. Me and him were cool. And I ended up telling her like, oh, me and him, you know, we're cool again. Like we're probably, you know, we're, we're kind of back together. Um, just wanted to like give my friend an update, you know? And she was so mad. She was like, why? Like, she was so mad about it. Like, I don't even understand why you would, like, get back with him. Like, blah, 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 all this stuff. Like, she's like, um, oh, and by the way, like, mind you, the drive through birthday thing was supposed to be a surprise. And she told me. She was like, oh, well, I guess he's coming to the drive through birthday again then, is he? And I'm like, well, I didn't know about that. But, yeah, probably, I guess, like... Like, you, and she knew it was a surprise. Like, you're in the group chat planning it. You know it's a surprise, you know? <clears throat> so I was like, um, well, I didn't know anything about that, but I would guess so, like, probably, you know? And um, she just, like, was so rude and just stopped responding. And then the next day, she texted me, happy birthday, all lowercase, no emoji, just happy birthday. And I responded, like, um... I know we're kind of mad at each other, but I love you, girl. Like, thank you so much. Like, so nice. Like, full of, like, life in this response. She didn't respond. She didn't say nothing. I haven't talked to that girl since that day. This was, like, two years ago. <clears throat> I have not talked to that girl since that day. So, she was, like, so bothered. I'm watching it back, and I forgot to mention that she also didn't come to the drive through birthday thing. Like, she sent that text, didn't come, and I never heard from her again. <laughs> How are you bothered? Because you don't, you're so mad, you don't like him so much, and you don't want him to be with me because he's so bad, but you texted him making sure he was cool. Not me. Like, bye. Bye. Yeah, that's that story. He's cut off. She's cut off. <laughs> um, and life just got a whole lot better after that. But I just wanted to share that story with you guys because the more I thought about it, the more red flags I picked up on. And I just feel like it was a really interesting story. Let me know if you guys have any similar stories, if you guys related to that. If you're seeing those red flags in a friend now, please comment below. I would love to hear your stories. Um, and yeah, let me know what videos you guys want to see next. I'm going to try to be way more active. I'm not going to try. I'm going to be way more active. Um, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Follow me on Instagram. Um, it's right here. And follow me on TikTok. It's the exact same as my Instagram. And yeah, I love you guys. Bye.